Here on Good Morning SKN, we will be learning about Christmas Eve and Christmas traditions in the Haitian culture. We have with us, and I'm going to attempt to pronounce his name correctly, Samuel de Clermont. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the Public Relations Officer of the Haitian Association here in St. Kitts and Nevis. Bonjour, Samuel. Bonjour. <laughs> it's incredible that we are talking about this particular association at this time because I'm fascinated by the association more so because one of my neighbors, she's about 89 years old, she is Haitian and she's lived here for many years. So the very first question that I have for you is how long has this uh, association been operating? Well, um, the association um, kicked off, well, they started off in 2016, but it officially kicked off in 2018. So with the association, uh, how many members do you have, roughly? Uh, well, there's a difference. We have board members, and we have, like, the community itself. Mm -hmm. I would say we have up to 152 people wow. registered. That's mm -hmm. people that we know that come to us let us know that they're here, that mm -hmm. are living li here up legally, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. That's, well, a, that's a, a significant <laughs> number. So can you walk us through what are some of the traditions, the Haitian traditions for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day? Yeah, um, one of the first things I would say is that um, the meaning of Christmas for Haitians. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people may not know this, but Haiti, Haiti's population is um, 82 88.2% um, Catholic. So, religiously speaking, yes, it means a lot to a lot of people mm -hmm. when it comes to the birth of the Christ. Mm -hmm. But uh, also, a large majority of the people which are not Christians still celebrate the holidays, still celebrate the Christmas um, season. Some of the tradition that we have is that um, um, Christmas for us is literally the 24th. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean by that is that uh, that's when everybody's out, um, the children. Um, it doesn't matter what, where you're from, your skin complexion, your social class. Everybody celebrate. People with the less, the, even the less fortunate people, you will see them in the street. They will greet you with a smile on the face, always ready to offer something and stuff like that. In a night like the 24th of December, People are like preparing right now. Tonight they're supposed to have what we call mass de nuit, which is a midnight madness, where people go to church to get into the spirit of the 20th, the 25th of December. And after that, we have what we call the réveillon. The réveillon is pretty much like a what we would call a Christmas supper. Like throughout the whole night, people go out, either inviting people in your neighborhood or different neighborhood to come into your home and you know we share a meal around the table or you go out partying. <laughs> That's the only time underage kids Can are party. allowed to go out and party, even allowed to get a beer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So the question that I have for you next is uh, was it a bit of a culture shock looking at the differences between the way Christmas is celebrated yes. in St. Kitts and yes. And in your own culture? Yes, it has been. It has been. I moved here in 2014, June 2014. So my first Christmas here was a bit of a shock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting. I didn't even know Carnival was around the same uh, time right yeah. after Christmas Day. So it was very, very eye-opening, I would say. Mm -hmm. You know, St. Kitts is, has been rubbing off on me like very, you know, in a positive way. That's great. <laughs> then, yeah. Uh, and to, to be honest with you, um, my first Christmas here, I spent it at home. Um, I was, uh, I spent it home. You know, I was a little bit, you know, emotional. Aww. But um, when the 26 hit, Juve morning it was. We were at the street party, yeah. I want to talk to you a little bit about something you said earlier, yeah. that when you came here in 2014, you felt a little homesick. Yeah. Uh, and then you mentioned also that the association started in 2016. Yeah. So if you could walk us through a little bit of the origin of your involvement in the association. Okay, at the time I was living, I spent most, most of my time here in Nevis. So when Chris, when Chris Tell came up with the idea, um, she brought it up with, um, to Ralph, which is the current president of the association. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to be here. Um, 
But he, when he gave me, he called me and he told me about the idea. I told him, yeah, that's a great idea. I mean, we have quite a few Asians here, and we should try, you know, and come together and let the people of St. Kitts know that we are here and we have something to offer. We want to, you know, introduce our culture, and then as we are learning theirs as well, and then as a, as as people, as black people, as Caribbean people, that we have a lot more in common to share. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was a very good initiative. That was a way for us to introduce our culture and also uh, get into know the Kittishans and you know and making a way for us here in St. Kitts. Mm -hmm. So if I could ask you, uh, in terms of the level of success that you've experienced in introducing your culture in St. Kitts and Nevis, mm -hmm. how has that been? Uh, we're not quite there yet, I would say, but we had two major events. In 2018, we had a, a, a cocktail to celebrate our flag on the 18th, and then which we had one this year too. But um, we were supposed to have one last year, but due to COVID, you know, we couldn't do anything. And right now, times are kind of like you no know, hard. But we're trying to introduce more some of the craft things, you know, um, the the art stuff that we do, mm -hmm. and uh, the music itself. It's kind of hard because they don't really cater to anything that they don't understand. So we'll get better. We I, I, I have met no. Listen, I've met a few who are really um, um, fans of compa music. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the things we are looking forward to do in 2022. God's willing, you know, we we work. We have some we have some good plans, but hopefully God will be on our side, and you know, we will be able to bring more to the federation in terms of our culture. Um, I think I think if it's not 2016 or 2017, uh, for Music Fest, T Vice came to perform. Yes, mm -hmm. and that was amazing. Mm -hmm. And also, we also had um, Felicia Ross mm -hmm. who came in. Sometime. She is so good. Yeah. she is really really that good. Was, but so far, in terms of the organization itself, uh, we have a long way to go. I would say. Mm -hmm.